Hey guys, it's 4Big Tech over here. So, today I'm going to be showing you why is your Samsung Galaxy Young or why stuck on the recovery mode. If you don't know what the recovery mode is, it's when you press the volume up button and the home button and then on um, the power button it goes to the mode but sometimes this may happen sometimes this is a really rare case that w when you start the phone it just goes to recovery mode so i have a solution to that so let's get right into it hey guys so for this you will need a usb cable and a pc so after getting your usb cable all you have to do actually first you have to connect your USB cable to your PC and then open your phone's back cover and then just take out the battery because it, it should shut down and then put in th put the back battery back in close the cover if you want to and then connect your USB cables other point to your phone so after doing that after doing this right away you have to press the volume down button home button and and the power button or lock button whatever you say so I'm gonna do that okay there you go so it comes up to this page a custom OS can cause critical problems in your phone and installed applications warning blah 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 if you want to download a custom OS blah 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 so what you're gonna do is press the volume up button to continue okay guys so after doing so it will take you to the Odin mode and it will, it will say downloading and stuff so nothing's gonna be downloading don't worry this is safe so now you have to switch to your PC open your favorite browser and then go to this site I will putting the I will be putting the link down in the description it is a uh, Samsung official site and what you have to do is install go to this link and then install keys or kai's whatever whatever you want to call it so after doing this you want to install this guy this guy over here kai's keys 3 download so after downloading this and doing the setup and all you have to go to devices devices and printers no sorry guys device manager right device manager okay so it will open up and then when you go over here uni universal serial bus controllers the last option you will see your Samsung mobile USB CDC composite device so when that's over there it's a good thing so after doing that you want to just install Kai's because this is a dipped version so you want to unzip it and as the original downloads so after installing this guy you have to install this so this is the these are the really important files that you have to install and really they're really really important so you just download it and then you unzip it as you can see it's a zipped version so you unzip it and then there you have it so you all you want to keep all of this in one folder because it's going to be really important so after doing samsung kai's and this media fire and stuff you go to this link dev host I don't know why it's called that but the application's name is Odin 
so you have to uh, download this download this application which is named as Odin I will be putting the link down in the description so you just press the download now button and then do everything as you always do it and if a warning comes that um, Chrome has blocked it or something just regret it nothing's gonna happen cause I did that and nothing seriously happened trust me so after installing these Samsung Kai's this guy and then this guy these three guys and you have to open up Odin first you have to open up Odin after installing all of these so you want to go to Odin version 1.8.8.8 1.85 because this version may not come into your PC so you want to go to this version and sorry guys just a minute and you have to run this as administrator and then press yes okay so as you know guys we have already connected our USB device to our PC in the Odin mode that's why this key has come over here id.com so if it doesn't come over there turn recon reconnecting your device like we did before and after doing so you have to go to um... where to go Yeah, you have to go to PDA phone and CSC so these three will be visible over here so you first have to go to PDA and then you have to go where you have kept your that this one this guy this guy's files you have to go over there search for the file where wherever you kept it and then open the PDA file then you press open and then you click phone you click the modem open CSC CSC open okay so after doing this you will get a message as added so now what you have to do is click this button start and you want to kick uh, keep all of this as default and when you click this button start I will I will not be doing it I'm really sorry guys cause I don't want my phone to get formatted again and it takes a lot of time it doesn't actually take a lot of time but install installing everything again it's really annoying so after doing this you just press the button start and then a lot of things will come over here like blah 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 downloading and stuff and then it will be like supplied over here I don't know what what that means but when you when you press the button start if you look at your phone the downloading thing below the Android there's something said as downloading and then below that do not turn off target so below tur do not turn off target it will be the loading sign that means that your phone is getting formatted and that is a good thing so that's all you have to do guys and keep one thing in mind that all of the memory is gonna go so you don't have any other option so this is the best option I guess I mean there's no other option so yeah so that's all you have to that's what you have to do to get back your GDS 5360 back to normal from recovery mode and thanks for watching guys